Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper, and this is a very quick video on two Nagoya, well, presumably Nagoya antennas that I bought for VHF and UHF. I actually think they're both fakes. I only paid about $15, I mean 15 euros for each of them, and I tested them and uh, got some surprises. The first one is this model with the uh, center coil, and they're both very short, so about, uh, well, 50 centimeters, so a quarter wave. I'm measuring the SWR with my antenna analyzer. I, I added a 50 centimeter, so a quarter wave wire here to uh, simulate the, uh, the body of the car. Of course, <laughs> this is very far from being scientific, but you know, it will give me an idea about the performance. The graph here shows that the uh, NL770S has a very good SWR on the whole band and can be used uh, for VHF. Here you can see the uh, UHF graph starting at 430 MHz and it's also very good, actually usable up to 446 uh, in case of emergencies. The other model is the S45 and that one I tested on my car. I got a horrendous SWR on VHF and a decent one on UHF. If you look at the uh, SWR on VHF for the S45, <laughs> well, 16 to 1 is certainly not good and you would probably fry the finals of any radio you tried to transmit with into that antenna. So definitely the S45 is not a VHF antenna whatsoever. On UHF, the uh, SWR for the S45 is pretty flat for the whole band, actually here from 430 to 446 megahertz. So definitely usable for UHF, but it's not a dual band antenna. And of course, uh, a lower SWR doesn't mean the antenna has good performance. Here are the two antennas together, and the one that seems to work best is the one on top. Of course, good SWR doesn't always equate to a good performance. I'll have to test them in uh, real conditions for that, but I would definitely suggest uh, not buying the one at the bottom. According to the link I'm going to put in the uh, description, the package does look absolutely fake. And I think both of those antennas I have are fakes. So the NL770S uh, seems to be a good antenna, at least has a very good SWR on VHF and UHF. So it's truly a dual band antenna. The S45 is only a UHF antenna. It absolutely doesn't work on VHF. So I'm gonna trash that one probably, or just keep it just in case, but it's not usable on two meters. And that's all I wanted to show you. Have a good one.